this is Diane from Beefhead Videos. We're calling to let you know that the video you returned was a copy of one of our video titles. Um, the best of raunchy amateur interviews, too. You didn't seem to copy the whole tape, though. It ended two minutes into the middle of the first interview. Anyway, please be sure to return the original tape you borrowed. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Touchdown. Are you on the throne again? <laughs> please wire nice. the money now. All right, everybody. We Rabbit here, and we are back with episode 14 of No More Heroes. As you can see, um, <laughs> I like how they just they know Travis spends his day on the on the toilet. So he even says, "Are you on the throne again? Send us the money now," because you know you get that mix of comedy but with like that urgency. Uh, so next fight to rank, fight the ranked third person, it'll be four hundred and fifty thousand LB dollars, which you know it makes sense because it keeps going up every time slowly. So we'll sign that. And with me, as always, we got our buddy Terrific. So Terrific, say hello. What do you think? What do you think of the little cutscene we just had? Um, nothing much. I think it's nice. Uh, also, I love how Travis couldn't even get two minutes into the into the video. Yeah, <laughs> oh, no, I love that's, got... the, impl <laughs> I love that's <laughs> the implication that if you only required two minutes, that's how far he got it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which I mean, don't get me wrong. That's like three times as long as I can make it. So that's pretty good, actually. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's been bothering me. I forgot to change the shirt a while ago. Yeah, um, actually, only like, it was one of those things. It was this shirt we had, right? Um. Yes, yep, that's the one. Okay, Little wizard perfect. girl. Yeah, because I actually only changed the shirt one day in the overworld, and then shenanigans happened, we never changed it back. But yeah, we are good to go then. So we got yeah. our shirt. All right, and as I was saying, so uh, last time we defeated the fourth ranked assassin, it was the magician guy, Harvey, what's his name with a long name. Uh, I thought he was pretty unmemorable and I gave my reasons for it. I honestly wish that they would switch him with Dr. Peace. I think it would make the story a little more like impactful. And not only that, but uh, during uh, Travis and Sylvia's little date to the show, uh, it ended with them making out you know, backstage. So definitely their relationship is slowly but surely progressing. So, hmm. Yeah, I'm excited to see uh, where they take it. You know, yeah. maybe Travis won't need these videos anymore, you know? Exactly. So it says a new part-time job is available and that's about it. So really quickly, how much money do we have now? Let's try to check. All right, so we are already up to uh, just 2,000 shy of uh, 300,000. So we need about 150,000 more. So we might have to do a lot of like grinding off screen. We'll see how it goes. But for now, let's at least head to the next job. Nice. And not to date the video, although that always happens anyway, whether we want to or not. But as of the time of recording this, we are on the eve of Nintendo finally having another like full direct. Yep. Yeah. Like, and you know, because Nintendo excited. has had directs. People like to act like they haven't. They have had directs. They just haven't been like long directs. So they've been directs purposely, you know, tied to something like Smash or something. But yeah, this is the first time in a while we're going to have an actual full 50 minute direct about different things. And mm. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty excited. Oh, yeah, same. Why you come here? All right, let's see real quick. Before I talk about that, I want to see what the next job is. Because like I said, I don't remember a lot of these, so I'm really curious what it might be. So last time we left off on graffiti, which was easy to do, but it wasn't really worth it money-wise. The mm -hmm. next one is... Meow Meow, capture the escaped cats. Use some foxtail grass to attract the cat's attention. 3,000 for each cat found. I'll be honest, I do not remember this job at all. Mm-hmm. I, I literally don't remember this job. I, I feel like this part of my brain was like removed and thrown in the trash. I don't remember ever doing this job, dude. It is so weird. Man, that I wonder if it's uh, just a bad job then. I don't I know, maybe, because I don't know. Like some of these jobs I remember so clearly, and some of mm -hmm. them I don't remember at all. It is like so weird. I don't know, but I guess we'll find out in a moment. But uh, going back to the whole direct thing, uh, I'm excited, especially because I'm the kind of person, a lot of people like, I don't know, man, like they always like, feel like, I always feel like they're just expecting like too much. 
Like, mm-hmm. I don't know what the deal is because, like, um, you know, any of the directs we've had, no matter what they show, I always find, like, at least one or two things to get excited about. Yeah. And I swear other people, they're always, like, disappointed. Like, mm. like they could say, oh, we're going to have, like, a Zelda collection, and that that's enough for me to be happy. And other yeah. people are, like, mad. You well, yes, I mean? because Nintendo did not give them exactly what they wanted. So that's the problem. Yeah, and I never understand that because it, I think as long as they give something cool, I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, that makes me happy. That gives me something to look forward to. And I feel like a lot of people, it's like, ah, there's like some vibrating here somewhere. I'm trying to look for one of those. Um, there we go. I was looking for the money spot. Perfect. There we go. Uh, but yeah, some people feel like they're so annoying because it's like, like, dude, as long as they give like at least one cool thing that I can look forward to, that makes my day. And our mm-hmm. people are like, no, how dare they only announce five new games and two ports? And, you know, like, like that's not enough. I'm like, dude, calm down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, meow, I don't really understand the unspoken rules of Santa Destroy. Try to think a little more like a cat. Meow. <laughs> Gotta find those cats before they get busy. I love meow, love meow cats. So much that I keep to meow many of them. Go cr- I go crazy when one of the cuties gets out. If you like cats too, then lend me a helping paw. The god of cats is going around purring happily. Search for them. Uh, this is definitely like, the biggest weirdo so far. <laughs> yeah, he is. Like, uh, out of all that we've seen, this guy is uh, giving me bad vibes. <laughs> yeah, uh, capture that cat that fled into the town. Use some fox cell grass to attract the cat's attention. I-, I just love that they don't tell me what the prompt is, though. I wish they would tell me ahead of time, mm-hmm. but whatever. No, man, got to figure it out for yourself. Okay, so let's see. Meow. <laughs> is it meow? Is it meow? <laughs> Uh, look, I can tell you right now, I'm already done with this. Yeah, I'm not really liking this one, especially because, <laughs> like, it's not telling me which Joy-Con to move which direction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's see. I like his meow, though. I mean, his meow is great, though. He's a meow. That's seductive meow, though, you know? Oh, yeah, okay, it is, is easier. Yeah. So I think it's just the right one. I think if I just stick to the right one, it should be fine. Oh, okay. Still, though, I feel like this is a job that's going to take a while and not be worth it to watch. Oh, this is our cat, what the hell? Yeah. Uh, there's already in our cat. Huh. Okay. So where does he put all the cats anyway? <laughs> I mean, in his, um, jacket. you know what, never mind. <laughs> <His pants. laughs> yeah, jacket. Let's, let's go with jacket. He's just carrying them all around his pants, you know? Yes. I mean, you know, he needs oh, that extra bit of confidence boost, you know? I accidentally pressed B instead of A, and the cat just ran the hell away, freaked out. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. All right, here. Man, riveting, uh, riveting gameplay. The most <laughs> hype gameplay on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it's so oh. slow, dude. It's probably, it's probably why I don't remember some of these. They're probably just so slow. I totally yeah. just wrote them out of my mind, honestly. I probably like never did them for money. I probably just played a lot of the same ones. Yeah. Cause I was mm-hmm. like, these are not worth it. Yeah. Like this might actually be worse than the graffiti. It's just so slow. The only, like I said, the only funny thing is just hearing is like seductive meow is funny. Yeah. But at this point, it's kind of just a tease. Yeah, I think there's only like what, like 12 cats total for 3,000, so that's not that great. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because that's only what, yeah, that's only 3,600 bucks. We we can do better than that. And you see how it takes a while for the cats to even look at the grass? So it just like takes forever no matter what. Like, this would be mm-hmm. one of those things that if someone was trying to speed run this game, this would, like, totally ruin the speed run. <laughs> yeah, it would. Oh, man. Uh, his meows are funny, but that's, like, about it. Honestly, I don't like this one either. <laughs> mm-hmm. I saw missing two more cats, yeah. I think. No, hold on. Uh, Yeah, two more. If there was 12 And some of them them. pop up in the same spot as other ones. Have you noticed that? Yeah, I've seen you go back and forth. Uh, I don't even get to finish all 12. No, there's 13 oh, cats for some reason. Such a failure. Look at that. It takes a the damn cat. Look at it. 
Excited, mm-hmm. what, 11 of them, I think? Yeah, 11. Oh, my gosh. That's 33,000. That is not worth it. No. It's just so slow and tedious. Uh, I hate it. I am mad already. <laughs> I'm already pissed <laughs> off. Uh, well, at least we're going to get a assassination job. Those always go a little bit better, so we'll see what happens. Uh, what were we talking about before the whole cat thing? Though? I feel like we we're talking, we touched upon a, a topic. Uh, Nintendo, that, Nintendo. Oh Direct. yes, that. Um, yeah, I, I'm the kind of person that as long as there's like one thing I like, that that's enough for me. It makes my day. Uh, what do you think they're gonna talk about? Like, what would you like to see? Uh, well, uh, there were some rumors going around about uh, Gen Four remakes, and if they talk about that, that would be very interesting. Yeah, I've heard uh, that for a while now. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, and apparently like it, it started gaining more traction because um, I don't know who leaked it, but some dude leaked it. And apparently he was super reliable in the past with what he leaked. And so people are thinking that it's um, really going to happen. My thing is, is if it's the same dude, I don't know how because Nint- Nintendo doesn't like it when their stuff gets leaked. So like, why can't you just find the guy who's doing it and just like fire him or something? Because mm. they don't know it's him, you know I guess. I, mean? I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah. But yeah, I've definitely heard of the Gen Four rumor. I've been hearing that for like a, I mean, I've been hearing that for like a couple of years now. I think. Yeah. And that that seems like a logical place for them to go too. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm, yeah. I mean, the only issue though is that now we're to the point of where like, because if they did Gen Four, the next one would be Gen Five, and Gen Five came out in like, what? Maybe I think it was like 2010 or something like that. But but what I'm saying is that like. The reason why remakes even happened in the first place is because the original Gen 1 games, you couldn't even connect with them anymore, so you needed a way to get those Pokemon. So they remade like uh, Red and Green into Fire Red and Leaf Green, and then they did the same thing with Gold and Silver. Uh, and then you could say to an extent that uh, Heart Go- I mean that Pokemon like Ruby and Sapphire also needed remakes because, you know, the Game Boy is out of commission like, and I, I, I you would can't connect I would, to it anymore. I, I would say any of the 2D ones need remakes. But once, yeah, like, yeah. once they switch to 3D, I don't really think they need a remake. At that point, it's kind of like, it's over. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like they're, they're still new. They're still new enough to where, like, you can still connect and all that. But it makes them popular, and everyone wants them, so Nintendo's going to do it. But you know what they won't do? Is put freaking Netflix on the Switch. Like, we talked about that a while ago, like, how the Switch just doesn't have so much stuff. Hold on one moment. Give me one minute, guys. Hold on. Thank you. All right, guys. We are back. I just had like a tiny foible with, I don't know, the volume was being weird or like, I don't know. Something, something happened. I like, I don't know. If, I don't know what happened. But the point is, I might have actually muted it and notice or something. But the point is, things are back now. And uh, to pick up our trip that left off, he was saying that, yeah, that the remakes, you know, some of these don't even really feel like they, they're like really necessary. And I agree, you know, I think maybe once they reach the last of the 2D games, maybe that's where they should stop. But I guess we'll see, you know. Oh, I killed two guys. Um, another thing that I think, um, so yeah, I think that definitely the, the, the uh, you know, Gen 4 rumors, I could see that happening. I know for sure they're going to have Pokemon Snap. I yeah. wonder if they'll have anything else, any other Pokemon projects. Um, I I honestly think that they're just going to limit it to, um, to Pokemon Snap and then the Gen 4 remakes because you've already got your, like, because um, you've already got... Ooh, that was way better. Look at, look at that, 84,000 for that. Oh, yeah. So a that's minute a of better. gameplay killing twelve people, eighty four thousand. That's really, I think that's worth it. Hmm. Um, but no, I was gonna say because you already have like sort of a, a main, like a core. Uh, what? How do they call it? Like a core game or whatever. And then you have a side game, and Nintendo likes to stick with that. We never get like more than one of one. Okay, of each, I you know get what you're saying. saying. So. Like, like Gen Four would be the core game. Yeah. Snap would be like the little spin off. I got you. Yeah. Yeah, and um, Nintendo, I don't think there's ever been a time where they've released, like, you know what I mean, like, two core games or two side projects yeah, with the like core game sure, or anything like that. For sure, I don't think they're going to talk about more core games, but you mm-hmm. don't think they might not talk about more spin-offs, like, whatever Pokemon Sleep is, or maybe, mm-hmm. like, a, you know, they haven't done, like, a Pokemon Channel thing in a while. You don't think they might do something like that? Maybe. 
Maybe there's a chance. Uh, See, that, that's what I would hope. hope. Oh my god, freaking Travis, that was not. Come on, man. Uh, <laughs> that's what I would hope. I would hope that for the anniversary, I would hope that they release a bunch of like cool merchandise. I would hope that they do sure a Gen Four remake, Pokemon Snap, and give us something else that's like really out of like left field. Like give us another, um, you know, like another Pokemon channel or Hey You Pikachu style thing or something. I think that would be really cool. Yeah. Especially because think about it, they could do because uh, Pokemon Snap is coming in March, right, or like April or something like that. Mm -hmm. So that could be you know the first half of the year. Then give yeah. us something for like the second third of the year, and then give us something for like the last third of the year. I think that'd be nice. Mm -hmm. Welcome. But like you yeah. said, who knows what they'll do? Because Nintendo, I don't know. They do whatever they want. You, like no one expected them to do a freaking um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, direct at all, and they're doing a direct. Yeah. So who knows? <laughs> Yep, so I don't even know at this point. And then people don't even know. Like, people are wondering, okay, will the Direct cover everything? Like, the anniversaries? Or is this mm -hmm. going to be a Direct about all sorts of random stuff? And then stuff like the Pokemon anniversary will have its own little, like, Direct, you know? Yeah. Uh, what about Zelda? What do you think they're going to do for Zelda? Um, definitely uh, something with uh, Breath of the Wild 2. Yeah, I'm, than... I'm, I'm hoping that they announce Breath of the Wild 2 for the end of this year. Mm -hmm. But maybe from like October onward, I think that'd be cool. That would be like a nice holiday game. Yeah. And um, yeah, I wonder if they're going to do any of those um, collections people have been wondering about. Because those collections mm -hmm. are a no brainer, you know, being able to play Wind Waker and Skyward Sword and, you know, stuff like that. Okay, where am I going? Yeah. Oh, lost the one. Uh, or is it? Yeah, being able to play any of those games on the uh, Switch would be really cool. Like, I would yeah. love to play freaking Wind Waker on the um, on the Switch. I think that'd be really fun. Mm -hmm. The only issue, though, is that I feel like they probably wouldn't do the Wind Waker because they just did Wind Waker for um, was it the was it Wii U? So I feel like it'd still be pretty. You know what I mean? Like the Wii U one is still pretty fresh. So I don't think they would do that one. Wait, am I doing, am I doing, did I accept the same mission again? I think you did. Oh, no, this is different. Okay, this is very different. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're purposely... Okay, because it said something about, like, this fight is a secret or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, they're making me fight, like, upside down and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy, this is, like, really hard, actually. Yeah, he's stuck. Okay. Yeah, the controls are, are totally, like, random. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see if I can make this. Hope I don't freaking die. I think you're good. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would love to play Wind Waker and you know those types of things on the Switch. But I can kind of see what you mean. I could totally see them being like, no, we just made this for the Wii U. Yeah. Uh, you know, you'll have to wait. But then again, yeah. then again though, I mean, they just put Mario 3D World on the dude. It's not even like upside down either. No, uh, yeah, so everything is inverted then, so like... Not the even, because I'm inverted. pressing it up to go down, and mm -hmm. like, that's not working either. It's like a weird mix of it or something. Oh. Wait, what's the mission for this one again? So that you can just like be done with it? Just kill the people, but it said it's... Uh, oh, okay. It said the conditions are a secret, and that's why they're messing with my controls and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, this is like really hard to control because like to get to the door like i can basically press the opposite right to like get like where i need to go but then when it's near a door i have to like specifically press like the directional buttons different and that's where i'm like getting screwed over you got this um, homie just 20 more uh, but yeah what i can see for sure let's say they don't do like the wind waker and try princess and some of those that people have been wanting do you mm -hmm. think they'll at least do oh it's done thank god okay oof <laughs> do you think let's see how much i got paid for that by the way oh seven thousand that's not bad yeah yeah that's pretty good the one i did before this was better but it's this one still wasn't bad it was still like worth my time in fact i think mm -hmm. we have enough money already don't we because then we need one hundred fifty thousand. Uh, i think so we got what eighty four thousand then plus yeah, the, there what, we go. seven yeah. 
There yeah, we go. Okay. Yeah, we have enough. Perfect. All right. So that was a really simple little. Uh, we didn't really have to drain too much. That was perfect. Nice. Uh, yeah. So I we're probably you know I don't want to like cut it like really early or whatever. So um, I, I mean I I I, I want to make it like a normal length for episode, but I want to like keep talking. So basically, what mm -hmm. I want to say uh, real quick, just to like kind of like shoot it off. Um, I hope they do for the Zelda anniversary. Uh, same as the Mario one. I hope they do all sorts of like merchandise, cool stuff, etc. Um, if for whatever reason um, they don't want to do the Wind Waker and try a princess thing that they just done the Wii U, I hope they at the very least do Skyward Sword because I would like to look at Skyward Sword again. Um, I hope that they fix a lot of the motion control stuff. I hope they like street, you know, they streamline a lot of that. Mm -hmm. um, something that I think would be really cool for them to do. I don't know if they would do it. You know how they've been remaking some of the games lately? Like they remade um, Link's Awakening. Yes. And they've done like the 3D remakes of like Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Mm -hmm. I think it would be really cool if they did some sort of a touch up to the Oracle games. Yeah. I think that would be really cool as well. Um, and yeah, I hope that they talk about Breath of the Wild too. I think they will. I think it would be like very weird for them not to. I feel like it's around time. You know what I mean? Especially with the like, Age of Calamity. I feel like that was a good lead into the game. So yeah. I hope at the very least we get like at least like a title drop. Like we know what the next game's called or something. Yeah. Same as like Super Mario Odyssey 2 because wasn't that being teased for a while also? Oh, I know. But hold on. Is the big three. Where are you now? Yoga class. Right. You go ahead and do that. Thanks. Your next opponent is a witch. She lives in this abandoned place called Speed City. A witch? Travis? Don't die, okay? Aw, she cares for Travis. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw. That was a lot different than her, her usual. Like what? What was like? Enter the garden of uh, madness. Madness, and you you have like a, a two thousand percent <laughs> chance of losing and stuff. Uh, yeah. No, 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 bro. Now it would be a two billion percent chance of dying. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, oh, she cares for Travis. She said, "Don't die." Uh, I don't know if you caught it though. She says we're fighting a witch. Mm -hmm. All right, real quick, let's save just in case anything happens. So we'll be right back after this fresh save, guys. All righty, guys, and we are back. And something really interesting is gonna happen. Watch. When we exit, keep an eye on our kitty. See our kitty right there? Keep an eye on our kitty when we exit, watch. Right, so once again, we got a letter. That's not too different. We've gotten a letter before, but... Dear Travis, here's a highway bus ticket. You know where the bus terminal is, right? Take the bus to meet the witch. She's got powerful magic, but you can kill her. Just come back alive. And then let's keep an eye on cat. Uh oh. Oh, our kitty wandered away. Uh oh. Oh no. Is she going to cast magic on the cat and we have to kill the cat? I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see, right? <laughs> <laughs> All righty, guys. Ah, oh, I found my bike. I left it somewhere random. Let's call it real quick. Ah, uh, so this time I don't know if you caught it, but we're actually hitting the highway, which is kind of interesting. Yeah. So yeah, the game is definitely, you know, it, it keeps trying to shake things up, you know? So this time mm -hmm. we're gonna hit the highway, so that should be interesting. Um, Let's see. Uh, oh yeah, you were saying, yeah, I'm sorry I cut you off, but yeah, you were saying that apart from like the Zelda and Pokemon stuff, but yeah, it would be cool to hear more about m m some sort of Mario Odyssey 2, right? You said that'd be cool? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah, I've heard a lot of rumors of that as well, and it would make so much sense because you know, they made like a galaxy too for all the extra ideas. Like, I'm mm -hmm. sure they have all sorts of like Odyssey ideas. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. But I guess, I guess they don't always make sequels though for the 3D Mario because uh, Sunshine never got a sequel. And... Yeah, that's the shame. They never, they don't always do it. So, yeah. Yo, what if they announce? Oh, oh did you catch what she said? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I actually pressed it without thinking. I'm so sorry. You were like talking and I just pressed it. Yeah, I love how, yeah, this is supposed to be a witch, right? Her name's Speedbuster. Mm -hmm. And she literally just goes, fuck you, you little prick. <laughs> That's her spot, <laughs> oh, All righty, guys. This is where I'm going to call it for now. Um, as you can see, you know, we made it up to like the third fight. We uh, heard the splash taunt. Uh, Sylvia cares more for us, you know, etc. Uh, we'll have to see in the next part, part 15, if who we are fighting is indeed a witch. 
And we got to see what happens, you know, with Travis and Sylvia's relationship. Let's see where this thing's going. So, uh, as always, thank you, Terrific, for joining me on this adventure. Yeah. And we'll see you guys next time, right? If you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Join us for episode 15, and hopefully we fight, we fight Speedbuster. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.